Welcome to the Essential Ideas of Milton Friedman. Friedman was keenly interested in how price changes or inflation affect the economy. Every economy has a certain amount of goods and services available for purchase at any particular time. Inflation refers to increases in the overall price level of goods and services. In the past, there were a host of explanations about the causes of inflation, including increasing wage demands by workers. In 1963, Milton Friedman and accomplished economist Anna Schwartz completed Monetary History of the United States, 1857 to 1960. Friedman and Schwartz's 800-page seminal work on money eventually revolutionized the way most economists think about both money and inflation. Friedman argued that inflation was always caused by changes in the money supply compared to changes in the production of goods or services. Friedman observed, that if the supply of money doubles while the amount of goods and services available in the economy remains the same, overall prices and wages will basically double. This relationship between money in a variety of forms, including cash in a person's wallet and their bank accounts, and the availability of goods and services, is at the heart of Friedman's theory about the cause of inflation. For example, let's imagine a simple world where, as of Monday morning, people collectively hold a total of $1 million. On Tuesday, the government decides to double the money supply by printing an additional $1 million. It then purchases $1 million in paper clips. The government cranks up the printing presses to print the new money, which will be used to pay for the paper clips, rather than using tax revenue. To see the effects of this doubling of the money supply, let's look at a specific example. Mary's company supplies metal to the paper clip manufacturer. With the million dollar order of paper clips, more metal is ordered from Mary's company. Mary's sales increase, perhaps double, which requires her to add more shifts. Her employees earn more wages and she earns more profit. Mary used to have 1,000 a week to spend on goods and services for her household. She now has 2,000 a week to buy more of what she regularly purchases. But although there is more money to spend, the amount of goods and services available has stayed the same. This means more money is trying to buy the same amount of goods and services. This bids up the prices of goods and services by, say, 10%. Unfortunately, the amount of money has increased not by 10%, but by 100%. So this process continues until prices are bid up roughly by 100% in order to restore the balance between available money and available goods and services in the economy. The key lesson is that, in time, doubling or tripling the money supply without equal growth of goods and services in the economy simply doubles or triples prices. For more information, visit EssentialMiltonFriedman.org. And for more information on other Essential Scholars, visit EssentialScholars.org.